Svivoni currently seems to be doing a lot of things right, offering good products at competitive prices. So how does the 2-inch 34mm SV126 eyepiece compare to other eyepieces in the same price category? Should you buy it or are you better off avoiding it? Well, let's find out! <music> I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to BD Observatory. Sviboni is a relatively new Chinese brand for eyepieces, telescopes and all sorts of accessories that only in recent years came to the US and European market. Their focus lies on good affordable products and great customer service. A couple of months ago I tested the SV171 zoom eyepiece and I was positively surprised by the build quality and the views it delivered. And now I wanted to see if the 2 inch 34mm SV136 is able to deliver the same levels of viewing experience. Sviboni has graciously sent me this eyepiece to review and I want to thank them for this. The SV136 is currently Sviboni's single 2-inch wide-field eyepiece with a focal length above 30 mm and I was really curious about how it would perform especially when compared to one of my favorite 2-inch eyepieces, the 32 mm Swan from Omegon. Let's take a look at the specs first. The SV136 comes with a 2-inch barrel size offering a focal length of 34 mm and a wide apparent field of view of 72 degrees. It also offers a very generous 24 mm eye relief and a 40 mm wide field stop. This eyepiece is completely made out of metal and it features a rubber grip ring around the housing and a rather basic eye guard. No twist mechanism here to adjust the height, just a fixed rubber extension. Coming in at 360 grams, this eyepiece isn't exactly light, but compared to other similar eyepieces in the same category, it is on the lighter side. So on paper, the SV136 seems to be a pretty decent entry-level 2-inch eyepiece. But how is the actual viewing experience? Well, it's kind of a mixed bag. Let's break it down and start with the optics and the quality of the views it can deliver. In order to test this eyepiece, I use it in combination with my 12-inch ProDub on multiple nights with decent seeing conditions under Bottle 4 Skies. This eyepiece has a 5 elements in 4 groups design with all glass surfaces being fully multi-coated, which is a great basis to build upon. This allows the eyepiece to be decently bright, offering good contrast levels no matter the target I pointed the telescope at. Ok, so far so good, but what about sharpness? Well, here comes the tricky part. During my tests, as long as I kept the target centered, sharpness levels were good, but the second the target deviated to the side, the sharpness started to worsen. To be clear, I'm not talking here about chromatic aberrations, just plain old off-center image sharpness, which combined with the natural chromatic aberrations coming from the curvature of the primary mirror of the Dobsonian telescope, the results weren't that great. Don't get me wrong, this doesn't mean that the views through this eyepiece were blurry, far from it. It's just that the views were not razor sharp either and coming from the SV171 zoom eyepiece I reviewed earlier this year, I was expecting this eyepiece to be at least just as sharp. In terms of aberrations, I'm happy to report that this eyepiece performed quite well in my tests. There is a hint of chromatic aberrations visible, but it's nothing to worry about and the wide and flat field of view really offers an immersive viewing experience, which I enjoyed very much. This eyepiece is also very forgiving when it comes to eye positioning. Regardless of the angle and distance to the eyepiece, I never experienced aberrations like black spots or unwanted internal reflections. 
adding to the comfortable viewing experience is the very wide top lens and the generous eye relief, which allowed me to observe the night sky even with the glasses on without a problem, even if the eye guard isn't retractable. It's soft and comfortable enough so that when pressing your eye up against it, it will make a tight fit blocking unwanted light sources that might come from the sides. In terms of build quality, the SV136 feels very well put together, which might fool you into thinking that this is a higher tier eyepiece and not an entry level one. As mentioned earlier, the housing is completely made out of metal, conveying a dense and robust feeling when holding the eyepiece in hand. I really enjoy the quality feel of Siboni eyepieces as of late. They are certainly doing a good job in this department. So how does the 34mm SV136 compare um, to other eyepieces like the 32mm Swan from Omegon and the much pricier 31mm Luminos from Celestron? When comparing it to the Swan, I immediately noticed that the Sfiboni eyepiece is a bit dimmer and less sharp. Contrast levels were the same for both eyepieces. Even though both eyepieces lack any pronounced aberrations and both offer a long and comfortable eye relief, I'm still giving the edge to the Swan when it comes to viewing experience. This is because of the height adjustable eye guard and the marginally flatter field of view. While not quite on the same level, the SV136 isn't far behind the Swan in terms of build quality. Even though the Swan costs twice as much as the SV136, I would still get this one. In my opinion, the difference in price is justified here. Comparing the 136 with the 31mm Luminos from Celestron paints a different picture. With the Luminos, you get a considerably larger apparent field of view, 82 degrees versus 72 degrees, better sharpness, better build quality and an adjustable eye guard. The eye relief and the field stop are also better on the Luminos. Contrast and brightness, however, is similar on both eyepieces. Where the SV136 outperforms the Luminos, though, is the general viewing experience. Its field of view is much flatter and doesn't suffer from optical aberrations like the Luminos. When you add in the fact that the Luminos costs four times as much as the SV136, then the decision between these two eyepieces is pretty simple. The Sviboni eyepiece comes out on top. I have separate reviews for the Swan and the Luminos eyepiece, if you want to check them out later. I leave a link in the description below. Alright, before we wrap up this review, I also want to give you guys a better understanding of what the different objects in the night sky look like when observed with the 34mm um, Sviboni eyepiece. For this I've set up some views using Stellarium. Please keep in mind that these are simulated views and not actual views of the night sky. This is only to give you a general idea of what the field of view is like. So, there are two ways to look at the 34mm SV136 from Siboni. On one hand, it's a decent 2-inch entry-level eyepiece that is inexpensive and features a great build quality. With a price tag of not even 90 bucks, it represents a good alternative to the cheap eyepieces telescopes usually come with. If you currently only have those eyepieces, then definitely check the SV136 out. On the other hand, if we look at this eyepiece and compare it to other entry-level eyepieces like the Swan from Omegon, for example, then the SV136 ultimately falls short in delivering a comparable viewing experience. If, however, off-center sharpness 
isn't that important to you, then you'll find the SV136 to be a decent budget eyepiece worth considering. Alright, that's been it, I hope you all enjoyed it, thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video.